As you guys know, Rise Magic is ending, but today's video is all about the grand finale, ending this in the right way. You may have already noticed that this channel looks a little bit different. There's a new channel name, new channel art, and I will explain all of that, I promise. But first, I wanna talk about Rise Real V2, the video that I promised many months ago. If you're new here, which you're probably not, Rise Real was a video that we did way back with the first deck of Rise playing cards where you submitted a video of yourself using the deck and you got featured on our channel no matter what. Well, coinciding with the end of Rise Magic, Grant is actually gonna come visit me in Florida from Hawaii in October. And when Grant visits, I have been writing a Rise Magic short film mini documentary that I will be releasing later this year. And the Rise Real V2 will be inside of it. It's gonna be amazing. This is not gonna be your typical YouTube video, right? I'm going to take all of my filmmaking expertise, tools and knowledge from outside of YouTube with my work and bring it onto YouTube for one grand finale featuring you guys. The theme of the video is going to be that the magic is not going to die with Rise Magic ending. It will continue on through you guys, the magic and Karsh that we've taught you. And that's how we're gonna incorporate showing all the work that you guys can do with our cards. So starting now, if you have a deck of Rise Playing Cards V2, plan it out, take a video, whether it's unboxing, magic, or cardistry, and submit it to the riseReel at gmail.com. The deadline for your submission is October 1st, 2023 which means you have a lot of time because i have to wait for grant to come visit to actually make the film don't worry if you're not the best in the world i'm not the best in the world just make it look as good as you can and if you have any questions reach out to me risemagic.info at gmail.com if you don't have a deck of rise playing cards v2 i don't really have any left besides what is in the deck display i know there are plenty of websites out there that have the deck for sale including our exclusive partner at x deck so i'll link that below if for some reason you still can't get a deck in your hands message me and I will try to figure out a way to get you one of mine. Once again, just like the first Rise Reel, if you submit a video, you will be in the Rise Reel. I will not exclude anybody. You will be in the video. The first one's one of my favorite videos I've ever made. I still watch every once in a while and I can't wait to do something like that again. I just hope there's still enough of you guys around to make a compelling one. I hope we have enough people. So if you have a friend who watches Rise Magic 2 and they haven't seen this video, make sure to send it to them to make sure they're in Rise Real V2. Just like last time, be sure to include your name so I can pop it up on screen, or if you want to do a username instead, that's fine too. Also include the country that you're from. I really loved featuring all the different countries of the world in the first Rise Real. Submit it before October 1st, and you will be in our final Rise Magic video. But calling it a video, selling it short, this is gonna be a film and I can't wait to show you guys what I have in mind for this mini documentary. Picture this video as a magician's grand finale and for my final trick. Now, as far as Rise Magic here on YouTube, I wanted to give you guys more of an explanation as to why Rise Magic is ending. I know last time I told you guys that a few months ago, I was telling you I was way too busy with stuff I have going on from work and I had gotten very, very sick at the time. It was just too much. Well, I don't wanna stop YouTube. I'm not quitting YouTube. We are just ending Rise Magic, Grant and myself together, making magic and car street videos on YouTube. And I wanted to explain more about why we're doing that. And first off, for anyone who's worried, Grant and I are still best friends. This is not like some sort of breakup between Grant and I. He's wanted to do this for a while now. We talked about this years ago. We just never got around to doing it, okay? Everything's all good with Grant and I. We were just dominating Mario Kart Mobile online battle mode just last night. So don't worry about that. Let me get into why we're ending it though. And chief reason number one is that I have taught you all I know, and you have become a far greater Jedi than I could ever hope to be. <laughs> Wrong movie, but just replace Jedi with magician. Basically, Grant and I have taught you every single card flourish or card trick that we know. I'm dead serious. It's been a very long time. We've made a lot of videos and I've been out of ideas when it comes to tutorials for a while now. And I'm a big believer in the phrase, no white belt teachers. 
So if you just learn something, then you're probably not the most qualified to teach it. So if I were to continue just learning new flourishes and card tricks and immediately flipping them around to tutorials, that would not be good content and I wouldn't feel comfortable teaching it because I wouldn't be an expert at it like I have with other videos in the past. Truly, Grant and I feel tapped out. We can look back on Rise Magic and be proud of the library of tutorials that we have. I think if you were to go through Rise Magic and learn every card trick and every flourish that we teach, you would be a pretty fantastic magician and cardist. We've covered pretty much all the basics, even most advanced stuff. And yes, there is so much stuff in the magic space, but I'm not the expert to teach that anymore. And just to clarify, that doesn't mean I don't like cardistry or magic anymore. I still do it all the time. I just respect the art form and craft enough to not sloppily constantly make tutorials on stuff that I've just learned and rinse and repeat the same ASMR videos over and over and over again. I don't think I've done that in the past. I'm proud of everything I've created in the past. It's just if I were to continue doing that when I'm tapped out of ideas, it would just be throwing away the integrity that I think I've had in the past when I've made all those videos. Truly, all good things must come to an end. And I think that teaching part of Rise Magic naturally came to an end. Now, as you guys know, Rise Magic's done more than just tutorials. Aside from that, when it comes to vlogs, streaming, things like that, the reality is Grant and I live literally thousands of miles away from each other now. We've gone our separate way in life and we still talk every day, but when it comes to filming content together, when you live thousands of miles apart, it's pretty impossible. I think when Grant lived with me for a little bit back in late 2021, early 2022, that was kind of the grand finale of Rise Magic content when it comes to streaming, vlogs, things like that. And we didn't even realize it at the time, but I'm very happy we had that time because now Grant and I really will only see each other in person maybe two or three times a year at maximum because of the distance between Florida and Hawaii. We'd really just be seeing each other on holidays. And since we're such good friends and family, we don't necessarily want to just film content the little bit we get to hang out together. We still are brothers and while filming content for YouTube isn't like a, a job that's like intense or, or really difficult to do, you don't really get to hang out like you would with the cameras off. So that's another reason. My film career is taking off and Grant has launched his own video production company on his own in Hawaii. And I'm sure we'll talk more about that in the Rise Real V2 film. And what Rise Magic was will be a memory that we cherish forever. And I'll take that moment to say, don't worry, just because the channel name is changing, it doesn't mean any Rise Magic content is being removed off of YouTube. It's all gonna stay public up there forever so that people can continue to learn from videos we've made in the past. Sounds corny to say it when I'm the one saying it, but the legacy and the memories that Grant and I have on YouTube will last forever. They'll literally be up there forever. So the natural question is, why not just leave Rise Magic alone, retire the channel, and just let it sit there, Rise Magic on YouTube forever, and make a new channel for myself? And the truthful answer to that is, I've just spent too much time on this channel to completely throw it away. I still love going on YouTube and making content. I am just tapped out of magic and cardistry ideas. And I've made videos that aren't magic and cardistry related on Rise Magic before. Some have done extremely well, some have done extremely poorly. And my goal on YouTube through the videos that I've made has always been to either teach or inspire and motivate people. And I think I can really do that outside of the medium of magic and cardistry. Heck, I might even make more magic and cardistry videos in the distant future. They just won't be every single one. If you can follow me on this analogy, Grant and I built this incredible sports car and in recent years, a lot of that building was me. And if I were just abandon it, I feel like I'm leaving this high performance sports car tucked away in a garage collecting dust forever. I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna leave it just sitting there collecting dust. I'm gonna take it out to drive because I built it. And here's the thing, maybe it's built for racing on a racetrack. And that's what doing magic and cardistry is for this channel. I'm gonna take it off-roading. I'm gonna take it to lots of different topics. I'm gonna see what I can do with this channel. I'm gonna see if I can go hit a million subscribers, but it's not gonna be solely on magic and cardistry videos. I wanna see how far I can take this thing and I believe I can take it far. But it's important for me to share that in order to do that, I have some new rules for this new channel. And rule number one is that I must be proud of every single video I make on here. Now I am proud of every Rise Magic video, but there was always a distinction for me in whether I was creating YouTube videos for Rise Magic or my professional film work outside of YouTube. I wanna merge those together and truly make some next level content here on YouTube. Short films, educational videos, tutorials, vlogs, whatever it is, 
I want it to be inspirational, inspiring, and of top tier quality that you could see on TV one day, just like some of my films I've done outside of YouTube. Rule number two, there will be no genre of my channel. There's not gonna be just Magic and Karshi videos or just film videos. The only genre for this channel will be under that umbrella that I just described. My best work, putting my all, putting all of my effort into making the best videos possible, whatever it's on. The genre is just good videos. And I'll leave you with this. I'm scared. This is terrifying for me to do. I know that the Rise Magic channel has 342,000 subscribers, and I know that out of those subscribers, maybe, maybe 500 of them care about what I do outside of Magic and Cardistry. I know that in doing this, I'm probably gonna tank the views more than I thought was possible, which I probably proved myself right on last week with my video about my new film, right? It's not doing numbers like the Car Street ASMR videos. It's scary to branch out and try something new, but if I'm going to live my life and make decisions purely based out of fear of failing, out of fear of not getting enough views, out of fear of nobody watching, then what's the point of me making videos here on YouTube? I may as well be an AI generator pumping out Car Street ASMR videos for the rest of my life. I can't do that, guys. I know I have good ideas, and I have a list of videos a mile long over there of stuff I'm planning to make on here. Might get two views, might get two million views, but either way, I'm gonna try my best.